Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the gold AR camo guide that you want. I'm going to show you how to do every single camo and the best way to go about getting them. Quickly before we do, jump into it. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel, notification, don't miss any more videos on the channel. We've got the best Call of Duty tips and tricks, class up videos, camo guides, and all that sort of stuff coming to the channel over the next couple of weeks and months and years. So make sure you are subscribed for notification, don't miss any of that. If you do enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, as that's what you can imagine, and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Also, let me know in the comments below, because it also might help some other people out as well, but I'm going to jump straight into it. So guys, in the background, it's probably just me showing the last gameplay that I was using for the STG to get it gold, apart from the couple of attachments that are bugged to get it gold. We're just going to talk about every single camo that we do have to get, right? So the first camo that we have to get, in terms of the assault rifles, is going to be the uh, 400 eliminations. It's very easy to do. This is just going to happen as it happens. You don't need to specifically go for this in any sort of way. You're easily going to have 400 eliminations before you even complete any of the other challenges. So we're not even going to go into detail about it. Next up is, of course, the 100 headshots. Again, pretty easy one to do. You can do this either in core or hardcore. If you're struggling in core, try core. If you're struggling in core, try hardcore. And the reason I say this is purely for the fact that if you do see someone and they just sort of stood still, it's one or two bullets to the head. It's going to take them out a lot faster than you having to try and keep uh, like four to five to six bullets on their head at all times to be able to get the headshot in core. So if you're struggling in core to get headshots, you guys might want to try out hardcore and just see if you can get any more luck in there. At the minute, with the Das House 24 7 playlist out, super easy to do. You're up close and personal with people all the time. You're going, to get, you're going to get behind people to the side of people. Just make sure you line up headshots as soon as you can see their head and just play specifically for headshots. Don't play for anything else as such um but majority of the time you do get your headshot stuff done before you've completed everything else anyway so realistically you're not gonna have to play for the headshots but if you are finding yourself with like 20 30 headshots left all you guys need to do is go into the game just make sure you're shooting high just aim for headshots don't try and play for anything else if you if you miss too many bullets and it goes above the head you're better off doing that than hitting them chest shots and hoping it rises to the head because if you do miss the headshot it's not gonna count it's just a waste of a kill anyway so you might as well have died and got respawned in by that point anyway in terms of after that we've got the predatory ambition which is going to be the 50 multi-kills. 50 multi-kills, very easy to do. Like I said, with 24-7, that's house at the minute. It's stupidly easy to do because the amount of multi-kills you are going to get. I believe multi-kills is like two or three or four kills at a time. Like it's just rapid kills over and over again. Uh, there's no, I haven't really found a specific amount that seems to be a multi-kill. Like there's some games I'm getting my MVP because I'm getting like 70 multi-kills in a game. And then there's sometimes I'm not getting any. So it's a bit confusing. I don't really understand how many it is. I think it's like three plus kills uh, in quick succession, which is going to be a multi-kill, which is very easy to do, especially like I said, at the minute with Das House on. And if you're struggling with this and Das House isn't out what you're going to want to do is go into the blitz game mode and hopefully you hopefully you will get some of the smaller maps out uh, where there's gonna be a lot of action going on and then play for the objective as well just play like uh blitz so you've got a big amount of people in the game and go towards the hard point go to the patrol zone go to the b flag on domination all that sort of stuff because that's where everyone's going to be and because there's more enemies there's a lot of people in the map you guys will be able to do this very very easily just try and get take a, take a couple of them out and if you do still seem to be struggling because you're missing a lot of shots or you've not got enough bullets in your gun or whatever it is you might also want to try a hardcore route and just see if you do get any more luck in that but you guys should be okay in court, especially like say you play the Das House or the Blitz game mode. So you guys have got a lot of people to be shooting at and getting a nice amount of kills as well. So for the Reptilian camo, it is going to be 30 Bloodthirsties, which means get five kills without dying 30 times. Very easy to do if you're like a decent player at the game. If you're not so good, it can be a little bit more tricky. And if it is tricky, if you don't feel bad about this at all, because it is very difficult to do, Bloodthirsties can be hard if you're not good at the game. And my best recommendations are run perks that take you off everyone's radar, like Ghost. Uh, you want to have something like Ninja on, run Dead Silence so people can't hear you running about. And just hold down a certain little area. You haven't got to go chasing the kills. Let the people come to you. Sit yourself around the beef flag around hard point around the patrol zone sort of that sort of area and just sit in one little area and let people come to you get a couple of kills there and then slightly move to a different area but where you can still see the last place that you were sat because people are going to come back to try and kill you knowing you're sat there but if you've moved position it's going to throw them off they're not going to know where you are you're going to watch them come running into that room that you were just in get a nice easy kill and you guys just need to play it slow make use of stims make use of stuns if you want to use stuns and obviously it does have to be the five kills with the gun you can't do like four kills and get around a grenade kill or three kills and get a glide bomb couple of kills or something like that you have to get all five guns all five kills with the gun that you are using and trying to get the bloodthirsties on but i've made a separate video on this as well if you want to go check that out, it goes a little bit more into detail about how you can get bloodthirsties nice and easy i'll leave that in the info card in the top right as well if you do want to go check that out so guys then for the dead eye camo what we have got to get is the 100 long range kills or 100 long shots um this is very easy to do a lot of people seem to be struggling with this i don't really know why they're struggling with this too much because it's very simple to do I done all 100 with my STG in the Das House playlist. I just sat as far at the back of the map as I possibly could, up against the wall, looking straight down the middle. And as soon as there was other people in their spawn in the middle of the map, you kill them, you get a long shot with them. If this doesn't work for you, or again, the Das House playlist is now at the time you're watching this, what you're going to want to do, jump into hardcore, put like a three or four times scope on your gun so you can see nice and far away. 
and just find areas where you can see quite far down the map into their like enemies into their spawn with one of the alleyways that are going to come through down the left hand side the right hand side or the middle and because obviously you are playing hardcore it's going to take one or two bullets to kill your opponent as well so as soon as you see them you've got a four time scope on you better see them nice and clearly down whatever alleyway you're looking down every single map has long shot spots you've just got to find the spot so if you come to me and go harry none of the maps have long shot spots Every single map has got a long shot spot on that I found so far. I haven't played a single map that I haven't found a long shot spot on. So there is definitely them on, on all the maps. If you've got the four time scope on, you're going to see them nice and clearly. Two or three bullets is going to take them out of the game as well, especially on, on hardcore. Make it very, very easy for you to get done. It is a boring way to play. You do just have to sit in one sort of area and just keep watching one alleyway. Just wait till people come through and pick them off one by one. You can get 15 to 20 of these in a good game. So it shouldn't take you too long. It is just boring. It is a little bit of a tedious way to play the game. But to get your long shots, that is exactly all you have to do. You just have to sit there. You have to wait for people to come down these long shot spots these alleyways that you're looking down and just pick them off one by one so then guys we've got the berserker camo and this is to get 100 point blank kills a lot of people seem to struggle with this one again it's not a difficult one to do if you know what you're doing and this is why i'm here this one i'm gonna give you the best tips and tricks for it for point blanks what you want to be doing das house is the perfect playlist for this right now it's stupidly easy i'm literally going through all my guns getting point blanks done because of how chaotic this is 8v8 on das house you're up close with everyone all the time you're getting point blanks in every single game without a single problem so if you're watching this the day it's gone up and you've got this week to sort of grind das house or if a shipment plays is out at the time watching this play shipment as well very easy to do but if you've not got this done my best my best tips and tricks for point blanks are to try and wrap around your enemy team try and get in behind their spawn as much as you can because one you're going to catch people from behind they're not going to know you're there if you run ninja with it and so you haven't got any footsteps they're not also going to hear you coming so then you can get round the back of them running literally right behind them while they're stood on a head glitch or something they're not going to know you're there run right up to them literally poke your gun against them and get the point blank kill the other thing i will recommend is using stuns and sliding sliding into people will give you the biggest boost that people aren't about to track you with as it's ridiculous how easy it is to get near people when sliding so if you're running to someone you see someone just slide into them you're going to get straight into their legs straight into their body you're going to hit them so you're going to stop sliding meaning you're not going to go past them and then you're going to get an easy point blank kill no i don't see many people sliding or using stuns when going for point blanks and this is a big thing that you guys might want to try out again i've got another video that goes a bit more into detail on this so if you're really struggling you can go and check that out it's on the channel it's a couple videos before this one if you want to go check that out so to get the wildcat camo all we need to do is get 250 eliminations with 10 attachments equipped very easy to do just make sure you've got an attachment on every single slot on the gun you've got a muzzle you've got a barrel you've got an optic you've got stock you've got proficiency you've got the thing under the proficiency you've got a magazine you've got a bat uh, an under barrel um what else have i missed a mag and whichever one i've ever, whichever else one i've missed just make sure you've got something in every single attachment slot for the gun go and get 250 eliminations realistically this took me about three games to get maybe four on maximum so very easy to do this is just sort of one you're going to carry on doing whilst you're going for like some other attack some other the other ones so you might be doing this whilst you're going for say long shots or point blanks or also some of the headshots or something like that another one you're just going to get done as you do get done so the next three that we do have we've got survivalist mind games and death artist and this is one that sort of relates more to which gun you're using it's a bit more difficult to go into depth with each gun on how you want to do this but i'm not too sure if every ar is exactly the same if it's to get the 100 ads kills if it's then to get the what is the next one 100 headshots and then it's 100 kills while moving i'm not sure if they're exactly the same uh, for every ar if they're slightly different but i'm gonna go off the stg and just talk about the stg on the off chance that they are the same i don't believe they are exactly the same and you might have to just like slightly change the way you play going back on some of the other topics that we spoke about before already if it's headshots long shots things like that but the survival list for the stg is going to be get 100 ads kills using the, a certain barrel a certain magazine and a certain stock right not too difficult to do 100 ads kills very easy just make sure every kill that you're getting you are owned aim down sight it's really very simple just make sure you've got the three attachments on that you do need to run in op in order to be able to complete this challenge in terms of the mind games one it is to get 100 headshots with the certain barrel a certain mag and a certain proficiency this time so this one again nice and easy to do as i said if you're struggling with the headshots go back and listen to what i said about the headshots before but apply exactly the same method and do exactly what it is does for this and that's going to help you get that one completed nice and quickly and then also to get 100 kills whilst moving with the 30 round mags uh, the tactical stock and the pressure proficiency again this one's nice and easy if you do get the one where it is whilst moving whilst you're ads and you're shooting someone just strafe left and right as you're hitting them or jump like do some jump uh, b hopping kills um moving forwards and backwards i didn't seem to feel clocks too many of them whereas if i was if i was shooting at someone i'm just strafing left and right while shooting i'm just keeping keep obviously keep your um your bullets going into them of course so you can get the kill just make sure you are moving left and right you're gonna get a nice easy kill it shouldn't be too difficult at all and you should be able to get the hundred of them done nice and quickly 
But then, of course, once you have done all of them, you would unlock gold for the STG or whichever AR you are using. And then do that for every single one and you'll get diamond. Obviously, my one's locked because both of these attachments or both of these camos here, the eliminations and the headshots for me are bugged for whichever reason. But as you can see, all the other ones are completely done. This one's going to take me probably about 20 minutes to do in game anyway. So I wasn't too worried about it. It wasn't the end of the world that I couldn't finish them. I just thought I'd do the STG whilst it's still overpowered and whilst they and before they do end up nerfing it because of how good it is. And then, of course, like I said, you will be getting gold on your guns as well. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have smashed the thumbs up, if it has helped you out, please do let me know in the comments below. Like I said, if I've missed any tips and tricks, again, let me know in the comments below. If there's any other things you want me to see, again, let me know in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, notification turn on, please make sure you're going to do that. I'm grinding the camos over on my Twitch channel. If you do want to come follow me over there, I'm live every single day for about 8 to 10 hours, maybe even 12 to 15 hours. So if you do want to check that out, links in my description if you want to come follow us over there. I appreciate what you're doing. Catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.